Welcome to the review of Open Heavens Daily Devotional for Saturday, 23rd September 2023. Our topic today is Rebuke the Devil. Rebuke the devil. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another opportunity to review the devotional, the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. We ask, Lord, that you speak to our hearts today in the name of Jesus and show us areas that we need to rebuke the devil in our lives, standing on the authority of your word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers, for we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our topic today again is Rebuke the Devil, and our Bible text is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 6. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 6, I read from the New King James Version. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Praise God. And our memory verse is from Job twenty-two twenty-eight, and it says, it says, thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. I hope someone is saying amen right there. Yesterday, we looked at the fact that we are able to resist the devil. And it's not only, you know, witches and wizards that we can resist. There are also things in our lives that might want to hinder us from fulfilling God's purpose or from going about our daily activities, even easily or normally. Things like sicknesses. When one is sick, is tired, is weak, is not able to move around like he or she would want to. So it's also important for us to resist and rebuke the devil in our lives in areas like you know sicknesses, weaknesses, and sometimes it could even be you know emotional hindrances, self-esteem issues, and things that will not allow us to step into the fulfillment of our destiny you know without holding back praise god the bible makes us to understand in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 that god's people that's my people so god is actually saying specifically that his own people perish for lack of knowledge so we shouldn't look at it from the point of view of oh uh, it must just be in this specific area alone that the devil is trying to resist me or they was trying to hinder me or deny me what belongs to me we need to gain knowledge in several areas of life gain knowledge in things that might be the causes of our hindrances and then know specific areas and in ways that we can resist the devil and today's focus you know is on sicknesses we have a god who says he is the one that heals us by the stripes of the lord jesus we have been made whole. it is past tense it is something that has been done already what we just need to do by virtue of the knowledge that we have from the word of god is to step into the fulfillment of that word is to step into the fulfillment of that good health that has already been declared and decreed in our direction Praise the Lord. And when we understand that our God heals, when we understand that he is the one who has all power over whatever form of illnesses or sicknesses, then we will be able to know that we can stand on his authority, stand on the authority of his name, stand on the authority of his word, and then decree or rebuke any form of illness or sickness that may want to hold us down in any way at all. 
the Bible makes us to understand in Psalm 24. If you look at it from verse 7 to 10, it talks about God as the King of glory. It says, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be lifted up ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory might come in. And I pray for you today that every door of sickness that might be holding you back is lifted now in the name of Jesus. The King of glory comes into you, bringing with him all that is you know good health that will cause you to rise up today and walk in power in the name of Jesus Christ you know when you know that you already have something I mean for example if you want to walk in the authority of your father if your biological father is um, maybe the president of a nation or the chairman of an organization, the way you will interact and walk when you are within that terrain or that jurisdiction will be different from how the child of maybe the servant or maybe just a random uh, worker would you know, walk or you know, go around. And when you understand that God has all power, in heaven and on earth, the Bible you know, declares, says expressly in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 9, that, you know, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. So when you know that you come in that authority, you live under that umbrella, you are called by that name, you will behave, you know, and take authority, take charge in a different way. And I hope that that knowledge, that understanding, that confirmation, that confidence is coming to you right now. Yesterday, our memory verse, James chapter 4 verse 7, says that we should first submit ourselves to God, then resist the devil, and then the devil will flee from us. So it shows that you have to first be under the authority of the king of kings, of the king of glory, of the one who has all power in his hands, before you can now say you are able and you know have the right authority and right standing to rebuke the devil. I pray that we will not miss our place in God. Our hearts will always be consistently submitting to God or could be consistently submitted to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Our prayer point today says we should decrease sicknesses and demons and every other agent of the devil to take their dirty hands away from us. And I want us to decree it right now. Standing on the authority of the Lord Jesus, we decree in the name of Jesus sicknesses, demons, demons, diseases, every single agent of the devil, take your hands off our lives. Take your dirty hands away from our lives. In the name of Jesus, we stand upon the name of Jesus and we decree you will have no more hold over us. We triumph in Christ. We have been made whole. Every form of sickness, illness, weakness be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. Thank you for the authority we have in you. Thank you because sicknesses, illnesses, demons, they are gone now. And we live and thrive in good health, reigning with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.